Previously in Shadow Empire. Hi, I'm Matt. I play Doji Daisuke, and we're going to get you caught up on Shadow Empire. My sensei, Kengo, the one-time crown prince of the Empire, was getting married to the love of his life, the daughter of the Khan, Moto Nomen. Of course I was invited with my friends and colleagues to attend Ide Yongso, Moshi Sora, Shisuru Kuranagi, and my ex, Now Now. Tragedy struck when Nomen's brother imprisoned Kengo Sensei and Nomen for the murder of the Great Khan. Now we are all trying to rescue them by braving the catacombs that connects to the dungeon. That's when we found a pile of corpses. You guys have rounded a corner and you saw a pile of corpses. Upon oh. approaching the corpse, the, the corpse pile, rats started pouring out the corpses running past you. After you got startled for a moment, you looked around. Something feels wrong. Something's um, off about some, that pile of some, corpses at the end of the hall. Definitely off. As you see a light yeah. start emanating from it. And Normally, the edges light. of your vision start to blur as a woman rises up from the corpse pile. That's when we saw a spirit rise up from the corpses. It turned out to be a rather vengeful Matsu spirit. That's when we engaged the spirit in combat. I'm going to cast Katana of Fire. TN1 Theology Fire check. I will use one of my opportunities to make it a bow instead of a katana, as in a staff. As in a staff, yep. She gets hit with the bow. There's a scorch mark across her face. I am going to then... Uh, she, she gets to now make an immediate action. The spirit turns its attention on me, and I wound up getting hit with the same spells that my colleagues were using. Her Naganata it bursts into flame and attacks Doji Daisuke. It was a rather nasty turn of events. I was burned, charred spiritually, and in quite immense pain. I was already exhausted just when the battle began. Naren then also attacked, and it happened again. This isn't good, and I'm very nervous, because I feel like if I smack her really hard, she's just gonna kill Daisuke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. So, well, most of us started to realize what was happening. Then I'm so sorry for the consequences of whatever it is that I'm about to do. Let's do Ijitsu Cut Rising Blade. So she'll take uh, five points of damage. She'll get hit by it. You'll see some like uh, uh, part of her like kind of disappear for a moment. and she, she seems to scream or you hear something. You're not sure what it is. But then she'll immediately attack Moshisora. Okay. Moshisora, um, you can defend this attack by taking five points of uh, damage. I think damage. I figured this out. I, I have a feeling I just slapped Sora. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is what's going on here. <laughs> and I feel like with my knowledge of that advantage, it might be enough to back it up. Young So decided to use music to calm the situation, but instead made us all so sleepy. It must have been part of whatever was affecting us. Based upon what Naren just said, I'm far enough away it's not able to attack me right here, so I'm going to pull out my horse head fiddle and start trying to play a calming tune. Everybody starts hearing peaceful and calming music, and it's kind of enough to override the danger you see in front of you, but you can resist this music if you want. To resist falling asleep. Oh, to resist falling asleep. <laughs> I fall asleep quietly with my opportunity. <laughs> All right. That's why I fall asleep yep. in front of the danger. Daisuke is asleep. I think Young So even put himself to sleep. All right, and Young So falls asleep. To his own music, it's that good. I'm not quite sure what happened after that, but I assume Naren figured it out, and Sora bravely stepped in to save us all. The spirit can't hurt us. Just take a breath. I will spend my void point 
Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna trust Naurin that it can't really hurt me and close my eyes. And force yourself <laughs> and nothing happens like to when, you. It's like when James tensed up too much when Sora was gonna hit him with the stick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel great until it all passes and you're like, did it happen? Is it good? And now you don't have to make your check anymore. <laughs> After the spirit was defeated, we came upon a deep chasm. You see this tunnel has a little bit of water trickling down through it and into this deep dark hole that goes both up and down. And that's where we're ending the game today. Don't miss my next adventure, the Cyber Samurai Sunday. So subscribe and hit the bell. But before the live stream, vote for me on our character poll on the community tab or via the link in the description. I'll get a special bonus if you do. Or vote for one of the others if you must. We have a dedicated playlist if you want to watch my adventure from the beginning. And if you want to have your own adventure, all you have to do is go roll some dice.